Hey y'all, I kind of want to start a discussion here. What are your thoughts about the potential for housing games in Pirate 101? Two things that are not really um, super big in this game, or as big as they, as they could be, are houses and companions. And as you all know, we do companion wars here on this channel. I'm thinking, you know, it would be really cool if different houses had uh, specific housing games uh, you could uh, you could do for them. Like, for example, this, the Smuggler's Arena has, like, the perfect size arena for doing companion wars. It's not too big. It's not too small. It, it uh, jives nicely uh, as far as, as the movement of companions and the size of the map. So a uh, a house like that could specifically be assigned to companion wars, where you where when you hop on sigil, it uh, goes through a banning phase, like we do here, you know, through Discord and, and Google Docs. You know, that's, that's how we get things done in the community here. Uh, but you know, if it was integrated into the actual house to where the banning phase is actually put there, you know, ban three companions each round, each player bans three companions each round, I should say. Or, you know, the other variants to where when a companion dies, you know, it can't be used in the preceding preceding round. It'd be it'd be kinda cool if you know, there are like different variants of companion wars in different houses. Um and, and you know some other fun stuff like if they if they actually do a revamp to ship combat in Pirate 101, having ship PvP houses would be really, really cool. And give people a reason to buy houses other than, you know, rug glitching or, you know, just going around looking at it for the first couple of times. I think it would let people appreciate houses a little bit more. And companions as well, because when you think about it, all the companions you buy in this game, like, you don't you don't have to buy them. Like, it, it, it's very unrewarding when you think about it, aside from the aesthetic from it. Which, you know, the aesthetic is cool, right? You know, it's why people buy so many mounts in this game. I think people are more into buying mounts in this, in this game than they are into buying companions, you know? Someone buys a companion. Oh, you wasted your money, you know? Oh, you see someone buy all the cool mounts. Oh, man, that's so cool, you know? But, right? It's the exact same thing when you think about it. But companions could be so much more. If Companion Wars were a part of the game, People, people would, you know, pour out to Avery, hey, you want, want to do some companion wars? And, you know, as some of the better companions get banned, you would use some of the companions that you actually buy. So it would, it would give people a reason to collect companions, another reason to collect companions. Companions are super awesome. Y'all know I love companions. You know, I don't, I don't care what other people think as far as companions go. I will buy every single companion in this game. So, <laughs> I, I think there's there's so many cool animations that companions have that so few people see. You know, <laughs> like Dr. Nah, I, I love his animations. A little flame in the middle of his hand. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think Rodolfo's is one of my favorites. Although you can get him as a musketeer, and that was my first class. That's really where I, where I fell in love with that companion. Um, Monkey King, you know, uh, Terra Mumori. Those are companions that have some of my favorite animations in the game. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just excited to hear y'all's thoughts on, on, uh, housing games and, um, and, and companions and companion wars and other ideas for housing games. I just want to start a discussion here. Because um, I think that those are those are some aspects that could really, really improve how fun this game is. So that's that's really it. Uh, love to hear from y'all. Peace.